I mainly just want to talk about uh, some of the market-specific elements of the vehicle, uh, specifically pricing and also some of the options. And then we'll close out with a little bit of information about our drive for today. So we're particularly excited about the opportunity for the XC90 in the US because when it comes to luxury SUVs, there are still questions about brand loyalty. <laughs> And according to the research, 150,000 SUV customers will be leaving a luxury brand for another in the next year. And that's where we really, really see the great opportunity for the XC90, for people to come back into the brand, see our new design philosophy, see our new powertrains, and really get to experience the new Volvo that, that you'll see in this car. And so far, we're excited with the sales we've already seen for people who haven't even had the opportunity to drive the car yet. Once you get an opportunity to drive it today, I think you'll agree, uh, that the performance of the vehicle uh, is something that uh, is very rarely seen in, in a seven-seat SUV. Our primary targets are looking at, at two different groups. We refer to them as young affluent families, of course, that would have uh, the need for so much space at seven-seaters. And then we also look at uh, affluent post families as well, because the function of the vehicle uh, is able to accomplish many things. It has the level of luxury, it has the space and cargo capacity, uh, but also we talked earlier about the Scandinavian sanctuary. The opportunity to be on these long commutes and still have the semi-autonomous features to help make these commutes more enjoyable. Uh, the opportunity to get some of your time back and the opportunity still to load up the car for a camping trip, surfing trip, or what have you, and still be able to maintain a very active lifestyle. In the US, we're looking at uh, three different uh, trip levels. Uh, all the vehicles are very uh, well equipped. We have the Momentum, the T6 Momentum, which is starting at 48.9. Uh, uh, by the way, these numbers do not include a 995 destination charge. Um, the T6 Momentum is what we consider our volume car. At least that's what we consider it to be right now. We are seeing a lot of uptake on the inscription level trip. Uh, the Momentum strip, the mo I'm sorry, the Momentum trip it's still fully equipped with all-wheel drive, 19-inch wheels. Uh, navigation, of course, the third row seating, leather and front heated seats are standard in the XC90. Uh, the power hands-free tailgate, which you'll be able to experience, not only for the button to close the tailgate, but also to activate your uh, foot, a little kick on the left. And um, again, mentioned the 19-inch wheels. The inscription level trim, which you'll be driving today, is for those that are seeking a, a little bit of extra luxury, a little bit of extra comfort in the vehicle. So the inscription levels when your leather is upgraded to a Napa leather. There's also enhanced lighting throughout the cabin, LED lighting. Um, you'll find a Napa leather on the seats, the dashboard, and also on the door panels. Uh, a very unique walnut wood linear inlay, and the ventilated front seats and, and rear sun blinds. The R design is a, more of the sportier variant. The powertrains remain the same. However, the R design is now featuring uh, additional cladding on the exterior, uh, rear integrated uh, tailpipes, a little bit of extra uh, silver on, for instance, the, uh, the mirror covers and along the window trim as well. Also a very distinctive uh, difference in the front grille. Uh, the T8s will follow a similar uh, pattern as far as the trims go. The T8s that uh, if you had the opportunity to drive yesterday or have the opportunity to drive today are at the inscription level. And just so that you know, when your media kits will be updated with all of the options that are included in each trip level as well as the pricing. Um, the cards already come very well equipped, but there are a few packages that we offer in the US. Uh, and if you're familiar with Volvo's, the package system is very similar to what we've offered in our previous cars. The first package, of course, is the Vision. The Vision package includes our blind spot uh, awareness system, Bliss. Instead, though, if you remember in our previous vehicles, Bliss was in uh, a light in the uh, A-frame, or in the A-pillar. Now it's been moved to the uh, mirror, uh, which is becoming quite common throughout the automotive industry. You also get the 360 camera, which will be featured in the uh, center touchscreen, giving that additional view. This is particularly helpful in a, at least for me, in my opinion, in the parking garage environment, when you have a lot of the pillars around you, uh, what's amazing about this is it stitches all of the cameras around the vehicle to give you that bird's eye view and you're able to see things like cones, low poles, and things like that so you can maneuver yourself around. 
Um, also, the semi-autonomous features are included in our convenience package. So this is where we get into the uh, adaptive cruise control with pilot assist. Uh, at the end of this, uh, I want to make sure that everyone, when they meet with our technical team and they first sit in the car, knows how to turn on the pilot assist because it is a, a, a very um, interesting function. It's something that you really need to experience for yourself, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, the convenience uh, fun, uh, package also includes the park pilot, which you will be seeing a demonstration of the park pilot tonight uh, at Austere. It has the option of, of course, also assisting with the parallel parking, but also the stall parking. For our climate package, falls in line with uh, our classic climate packages for Volvo. Uh, for heated front seats are standard in this vehicle, which is a first for, for Volvos across all trim levels. Uh, but the climate package also includes heated rear seats, a uh, heated steering wheel, and also a heated windshield. We offer an option for those that are choosing the momentum level trim, but uh, have decided that uh, they do not want to go up to the inscription level trim. But what you get in Momentum Plus is upgraded lighting. So what is standard with Momentum level are halogen lamps, but we've seen a lot of interest in our LED and the Hammer of Thor lamps. So with the Momentum Plus, you get that upgrade in addition to uh, additional interior lighting uh, for a very small charge. Individual options also include the Bowers & Wilkin premium audio system. Uh, in the T6, that does include a CD player. A lot of people start to ask the question of why would you have a CD player, but uh, what we found is that the quality of the Bowers Wilkins system is so high that there are still audio files that prefer the sound coming off a CD instead of coming off of an uh, electronic device. So we still made that an option. In the T8, because of the placement of the battery pack, unfortunately the CD player is, is not an option. But the Bowers Wilkins premium sound system is. Uh, Four-corner air suspension with active chassis is on the vehicles that you'll be driving today. Uh, the air suspension provides uh, a few additional benefits, uh, one of which is you can lower the uh, rear tailgate for assistance in loading the vehicle. It can also raise it up. Uh, the air suspension also assists with aerodynamics. When you get up to certain speeds in the highway, the vehicle will actually lower a little bit to receive uh, better aerodynamics on the road, and of course assist with fuel economy. Graphical heads-up display, which is also uh, featured in the vehicles you'll be driving today, is an option. We do have 20, 21, and 22-inch wheels available on the different trim levels. The integrated booster cushion, which you saw in one of the earlier uh, images, we are celebrating our 25th anniversary of the integrated child booster seat uh, at Volvo. That is actually in the center seat. And the reason why it's in the center seat with this vehicle compared to the, the two side seats in a lot of the other Volvos is the center seat has the opportunity to be pulled significantly forward. Uh, so with the integrated booster seat, what we have is the opportunity for the child to be brought closer to the parents who would be theoretically sitting in the uh, driver's and passenger seat. The uh, wood steering wheel is also an additional option uh, that can be brought on independently. Of course, unfortunately, with the wood steering wheel, it can't be heated. Um, so we do seem to have a lot of people in our northern climates that just opt for the heated steering wheel. Once you experience it, it starts to become addictive. Uh, this is an, uh, just a quick picture of our um, four-corner air suspension. When you go to Austere later this afternoon, we have a, uh, a full real-life diagram of our hybrid powertrain, so you'll be able to see uh, portions of the suspension up close and personal. Uh, a quick view of, of how the uh, child booster seat works. It is a two-stage booster seat, so what's nice about that is it starts to grow with the child uh, over the years. A quick look at the competition. Uh, globally, we have a tendency to compete with the Germans. So the Audi Q7, the BMW X5, and the Mercedes-Benz ML. Uh, here in the United States, though, we also look at uh, some of the offerings from Japan, the Acura MDX and the Infiniti QX60. The vehicle really does lend itself very well to accessory packages. And we offer two accessory packages in addition to a few port installed options. Uh, but we offer two in, as, as far as exterior trim, one of which we refer to as rugged luxury, which is very similar if you've seen it on our variants on a, on a cross country, in that it provides the additional black cladding along the, along the bottom of the vehicle and also along the rear, well, uh, rear wheel wells. It provides a little bit more of that outdoorsy flavor to the vehicle. 
We also, also offer it in a color matching scheme, depending on what color you pick in the vehicle. We call that an urban luxury accessory. A quick timeline for us here in the United States. Uh, retailer demos are starting to arrive now. Uh, the T6s that you'll be driving are production vehicles, or the first production vehicles to arrive in the U.S., so they are fresh off the boat, as a matter of last week. Uh, the T8s that you're driving are European cars. They are pre-production cars from Sweden. It's important to note about the T8s that you'll be driving is they are still going through some of their software tweaks and their, uh, their powertrain tweaks. So you may notice a little bit of a difference between the T8 and the T6, but we're actively working on that to get the T8 into full production, which will be happening later in the summer. First editions, the first 1,927 that were sold, will start to be delivered to customers in June. Uh, first customer cars, those that have been ordered either on our website already or are currently being ordered on our dealers, will start to arrive in July. And then we expect more of our inventory to start to arrive as we get into uh, the July-August time frame. The T8s and the R design will start to hit the assembly line at approximately the same time in late summer. And we expect them to be available here on the U.S. shores in October. We're particularly excited about showing the uh, XC90 to all of you today. As you know, and as you probably heard us talk about very often, the XC90 represents the, the new design philosophy and powertrain philosophy for Qualcomm. And what's exciting about this is that by 2018, the vehicle that you'll be driving will be the oldest in the Volvo fleet. All of the cars moving forward are going to be using the same platform, the same powertrains, the same architecture systems, the same HMIs. And we're very excited about a refreshed, uh, fully refreshed, uh, refreshed product line coming up over the next few years with a lot of exciting things happening at Qualcomm. 